What's up, everybody? To anybody who's watching, what's up? Um, as you might think, if you're watching this, it is not Christmas. But that's what the title said. This is me showing what I got for Christmas. I've done this every year since I started this channel. So about two, three, one times. I don't really know. I think two or three. But, yeah. It's currently New Year's Day. I haven't really been home. To make this video, I've been with my dad at my dad's house, but now I'm back, and I'm hoping to be back for good, like, on this channel, you know, like, you know, I got stuff going on, but I want to start cranking out stuff, making stop motions again, I may be making a TikTok Instagram for this channel, um, but for now, I know I'm going to do this, um, this Christmas video, and then I'm going to do, like, a collection tour. And then I'm going to redo my collection, make my setup and display, and then I'm going to make a video on that. So, all that out of the way, that is my plan for right now. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so I got, let me think, one, two, three, four. Alright, so I've got a bunch of figures that I've already opened because I'm not really the type of guy to just wait. Especially when it's been like a week, you know. So all the stuff I really wanted to see, like, immediately, I've already opened. And some of it I've already bagged up the accessories, put them in my box. But I'll get those out for the video. And I have a few, um, all of them that I haven't opened yet are DC Multiverse. I have got four of those that I'm going to unbox on camera today. But first, I'm going to show the ones that I've already unboxed. So these are my favorite ones that I got. So... Right here we got the um, new Retro Wave Wolverine. I think it looks really good. It's got the sculpted arm hair, as you can see. And, I mean, the suit just looks really nice. Way better than any of the other Wolverines, in my opinion. It looks so good. And um, we got the head sculpt, the alternate head sculpt, where you can put the little hood mat mask piece on there like where he's unmasked i like that a lot i think it looks really good and here we put the logan head sculpt on and i i just really like that look like i think it looks so much cooler when he has the mask down like that you know what i mean like it, instead of it just like the mask disappeared that makes sense and i i really like that i really enjoy that and here we got the clawed hands and i mean yeah of course they're flimsy there's claws that are better, you know, but I think they still look nice when you put it on there, and they just fit on there nicely, just like so, and yeah, I mean, I think it looks nice. I like the, um, like the Fox Films Wolverine claws, they look really nice, and I've seen like people use the custom metal claws, I think those look even nicer. Which is something I hope to do in the future. Alright, and here we got the Retro Wave. Um, the Human Torch from Fantastic Four. I think this one honestly looks like really good. Like, it, 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 it's just the way it shines in the light makes it really cool to me. And I love the color and the like plastic material used. And how it kind of looks like it's to a point where it's see-through. But also makes it look realistic, like he's like he's literally just fire. It it doesn't look like a person on fire. It looks like fire, just in the shape of the human, and that's what the human torch is to me. Now he's got these hands with the flames on them, but you can take them off, and they've got more relaxed relaxed hands. Those are just like fisted orange hands. I'll put one on right here. See there you go. See, I mean, just look at that in the light. It looks so good. Take that off, and he has the typical Marvel Legends flame, magic, anything accessories they'll put with anybody. So yeah, you can put them on the arms, put them on the legs, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't really think this works right here with the arms. Like, it kind of looks weird because it already has fire on the arms. I put it on the legs later on in the video, you'll see. And it looks really nice that way. Yeah, see, there you go. We're putting it on a leg. It'll just wrap around the ankle more nicely, you know. Okay, anyways, and he also has 
the flame piece that goes on like the back and the shoulders that makes it really look like he's like you know fired up like i i like to keep that on there because it's coming off the back coming off the shoulders and coming off the head and i think that just looks really really nice i love this figure it's difficult to stand up and up next we got the Kang from Quantumania. I really, really, really love the design of Kang. It looks really cool. My biggest thing with it though is that ginormous cape. It's just like, and it's really stiff and hard to move out of the way. I also don't really like that ab crunch joint. It's kind of goofy looking whenever you move them like at all. But overall it really, really looks cool just like it did in the movie. You know, it sucks what they're doing, or, I mean, what's going on with, like, Jonathan Majors, you know, because I liked him. He was a great actor. He looked good. Anyways, he's got two alternate hands, and they're just open hands, you know, and different, like, forms of open hands, but it doesn't really matter. And it comes with the two head sculpts for the Cassie Lang build -A figure and I will say, those are pretty freaking big. I hope to, um complete the build a figure not only just to have the build a figure but to get the entire wave see here we got the wasp kang ultron and those last three i mean i don't really care for the first three i definitely want but the last three will definitely still be cool to have and you can complete that um the build a figure which would be nice to have especially once i get an ant-man and a wasp who i don't have yet but I like how you can see through the purple and like see to the eyes. I think that's a really cool detail. And those little front pieces of hair will flap. I mean, that um, face technology is really good. And those head sculpts are big. But there's Kang. And ooh, ooh, when I tell you guys I've been waiting on this one for a minute. It's between this two pack or the next that I show you that were my absolute favorite things I got for Christmas. I mean, just look at that Venom. Look at how big and, I mean, detailed, like, that symbiote look is. I, I think it's awesome. This is the perfect Venom for me because it's that movie Venom um, body mold. It's really nice. I love how the paint is all the way through, and I do love the Venom with the toes. Like, it makes it more scary to me. It makes it more realistic. I love Venom, one of my favorite villains, and I love this design of Venom. He's got the tongue out head sculpt and he's got the mouth closed head sculpt. Both are equally scary and look amazing. There's, I'm putting it on there. Struggling. This is the voiceover, if you guys couldn't tell. It's my first one. I'm kind of having fun with it. I need to hurry up and put that head sculpt on. There we go. So there he is with the clothes. Closed mouth, showing all his teeth, looking really, really nice. I, and he has both of his open hands on, but he also comes with the fists. And he comes with the wings. Now, the wings look amazing. They're huge, and it's honestly terrifying with them with wings. But they're very difficult to work with. They're really big, and they, they are hard to port in the body. And I don't know if that's just for me. I'll have to go back and look at some reviews of this later to see if that's only me or what. Because I I really couldn't, like, I can't port them in there nicely. And when I do, one of them will fall down a little bit, so it'll look a little janky. But um, you'll see later in the video, I have a picture of him with the wings spread out. And, like, one of them's high and one of them's low because they won't really stick in there. But the wings do look really, really cool, in my opinion. Even though they're difficult to work with. <laughs> Alright, anyways, we got Noel, also the symbiote god. Seems like a really cool character that I don't know much about. I, like, I wish I did. And I plan to, eventually. But, for the figure, it looks fantastic. The details are amazing. I really love it. It's really scary. And he's got his one head sculpt with the hair to the side showing his teeth. And then he's got this next head sculpt here. Had to stop that video. It took me so long. 
but he's got a closed mouth. And I like the other head sculpt more. It's way scarier and just looks cooler. But yeah, both of the head sculpts look nice and the body looks nice. But you know what really looks nice to me? That sword. I'm pretty sure it's called the Necro Sword. Not too completely sure. Because that's also the sword Gore the God Butcher used, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't know much about it. But like I said, I plan to find out. And it fits in his right hand just nicely. His left hand is um, wide open. But it really looks good. And he really looks good with the sword. It looks fantastic to me. Again, difficult to stand up. I don't know what I was talking about right there with my hands, but there's obviously something. Like I said, definitely between this or the tooth pack, but look at this, that mobile. It just looks magnificent, like it looks so good. And the details on it, like the front, they look just like out of the movie. And I'd love to finally have a Batmobile that is the size of my Batman, like it works out. Looks really nice. And in the back here, the jet boosters, the tail lights, the air vents, the bat wings, the wheels, the tires, the hood, everything looks amazing. And I love how you can open it up. I think I'm having difficulty doing it right here, but there it goes. How you can open up the cockpit and pull out the Michael Keaton Batman, who really looks magnificent on its own. I love the figure too as well as the Batmobile. And that's why this is probably my favorite thing I got, even over that Venom, which I ruined it really bad. But this, just having it is way better. Like, I mm, I knew I wanted it, but it wasn't on my top priority list. But now that I have it, I realize that it should have been because it looks so good. It looks right out of the movie. It looks really nice. The suit looks nice. I mean, look at it shine in the light. Even though he's dark and supposed to be Batman, it's great. And the cape, I love how big the cape is. Oh, only if that a bendy wire in it. I might even just try to put one in myself sometime. It looks so good to me. I love this Batman figure, and I love this Batmobile. And, I mean, just look at all those details on it. I mean, 1989, that looks just perfect. I love this Batman suit design. One of my favorite from the movies, for sure. I love it. This is just, whew, it's so amazing. Again, difficult to stand up. It's my least favorite thing with my action figures is trying to just stand them up. And, ah. Uh, yeah. Come on, stand up, man. Stand up. Stand up. There we go. All right, and next we got the four that I haven't opened. We got Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey. We've got Black Manta from the new Aquaman movie. I haven't seen yet. I want to. We've got the Reverse Flash and Godspeed from Injustice, which is great because I have the Flash from Injustice. And not going to lie, that camera angle was horrible. Anyways, um, we got the stands and the trading cards, of course. These stands, I love them. You know, they help with the hardest part of any of this is just getting the figures to stand up straight like normal. Just stand there. I don't know why it's so difficult, but I definitely keep all those and I use them. And for the trading cards, I definitely collect those. You can see them up there. They're on my wall. I was going to... I lined them up to where I could put the Hickles in one row, but the Blatmobile didn't come with one. I don't know if they had one or not. I couldn't find it, but... Here we go, and there's the little data file you can read if you want to. Pause it. And this one is actually not a picture of the character from the movie or the figure. It's just some nice art. The art looks nice. And there's the data file. You can pause it to read it if you like. And the Godspeed. The figure looks fantastic. Black background, something simple. And here's the data file. You can pause it to read that if you like. And then for the reverse flash, a nice action shot of the figure. And there's the data file. You can pause it to read it if you like. 
and the Black Manta figure had a different stand than all the rest. It's got the clear flight stand that um, DC Multiverse McFarlane has. I have two of these now. One of them came with a Superman hat. I mean, they're nice. They're just pretty weak. Like, they don't hold the figures up as much as I feel like they should. But they do still have a peg hole at the bottom for standing, and it's clear. So I like that better. I like clear better than um, it being black. But still... Once you get it in the right position, these stands will work out pretty good. There's a clamp, you know, you can open it and close it. So yeah, like I said, like it'll hold the figures once you get them in there in the right position. And here is the Black Manta figure. It looks incredible. I love, like, the paint applications on it and the build of it is nice. But, like... Just look at that blue wash over the black. It looks fantastic. Like, that just looks really good to me. I love the blue and black mashup, honestly. And then I also love the metallic, nice metallic silver and those red eyes and red accents. I just love the design of the black man. It looks really cool. And he has these little accessories for his jetpacks. They also look nice. I love the color of those. And you just stick them in those little peg holes in his jetpack like so. To have them flying. And then you can put them in the stand. I will later. In the video you can see a picture of him in the flight stand. After I finally, you know, get it up there. But. I love the Black Manda. I can't wait to get the rest of the figures from this wave. And watch the movie. And now we got the Godspeed figure. I don't know much about him. I read that little data file. That's about all I got. But, I will say those Speed Force effects look amazing. They look better than any I've ever gotten so far. Out of the two flashes and this reverse flash I got and this Godspeed, that is amazing. And I love the design of it. But those legs are a little skinny and kind of janky. It was really difficult to stand. I had to use the um, DC Multiverse stand for that. And the ab crunch... It's kind of weird. It always looks like it's turned to the side by the middle piece. Not the top, not the bottom, but the middle. It just looks like it's to the side. But other than those small gripes, of course, it looks amazing. The details are nice and the paint apps are nice because it's DT Multiverse. And I like the design of the character. Like I said, I need to find out more. But that looks really good. And now we have the Reverse Flash. Another design that I think is incredible. And these Speed Force effects are the same as the Flash from Injustice 2, just red, which makes a lot of sense. I think it looks good that way. And like I said, amazing design. I love the design of the Reverse Flash from the Injustice 2. And like I, like, I mean, I love the all yellow design with the red in it. Like I like the big red lines, not just small red accents. Like I like how there's red all over it. And I like the small silver metal portions, like on the shoulder pads, the wrists, and the ankles. I think that looks really cool. Alright, now we got the Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey. Never really watched the movie. Never really cared to watch the movie. Um, you know, I watched both the Suicide Squad movies. But I haven't really seen this one. I've seen maybe a few clips of it. Again, never really cared to watch it. Or the design of this character is just kind of weird. Uh, but, you know, it's Harley Quinn. It's a nice character to have. And, but definitely, you know, I like the other designs better from Suicide Squad. But, anyways, I just showed that perfect egg sandwich. I'm pretty sure is what it was. And now I'm showing the hammer. The hammer does look really good. I like the way that the hammer looks. I really do like it. And that egg sandwich, I guess, could be used for anybody, so it's also nice to have. As for the figure, once again, this design for this character is truly weird to me, but the roller skates are kind of cool. And the gold on these little overalls, or whatever they are, is really shiny, so it looks good. And, of course, everything's all sculpted in there. Sculpted really nice because it is McFarlane Toys. Trying to get it to stand up with them roller blades is something crazy. Alright, now I'm going to be doing some comparisons. And for this first one, I took a video. Don't know why, but after this, it's just pictures, so that makes sense. Anyways, 
These look really good together. It's my only Aquaman. But the only problem with that Aqua, like I love that Aquaman. The only problem with it is that shoulder piece. That's why I pointed at it. It really restricts movement, which sucks. But I think these two look great together. All right, next we got my new Wolverine next to the only other Wolverine I have and the only other X-Men I have, which is just two Deadpool. And I will say that the blue on this new Wolverine is my favorite blue out of all these shades of blue used for the X-Men. I love that blue for the X-Men, and I love this new Wolverine. It looks great. All right, next up I got my new Michael Keaton Batman up next to all the Batman villains I have, and I'd say he fits in really nice. Some of these are comics, some are movies. They're just kind of random, but this is what I got, and I think he looks great with them. I love that Riddler. That Riddler is fantastic. But yes, I love these villains next to this Batman. They look good together. And now I got the Michael Keaton Batman next to two Robin. These are the only Robins I have, and they're both Damian Wayne, just different suits. So I don't know if Michael Keaton Batman would really go with a Damian Wayne Robin, but... I mean, Batman and Robin, you just can't kill it. And I love Damian Wayne, and I love these two designs, especially that darker one. It just, oh, I love that design of Robin. I love both of these designs of Robin. He's not my favorite Robin, but he still is a cool one with a really cool design. And they look great with this Batman. And now I got the Michael Keaton Batman next to other movie Batman and DC superheroes that I have. And gotta say, man, that looks pretty cool. And now I got the Birds of Prey Harley Quinn with my only two Jokers, but I'd say she looks nice with these two, even though they're both comic versions, and it'd be cool to have a Jared Leto one, but technically in this movie, aren't they, like, broken up or something? I really don't know. I'm pretty sure that's why she's all emo and weird in the new one, which, I mean, she already was. She's Harley Quinn, but you know what I mean. But I think she does look good with the the Joker on the right, so... Or either of them, but really that one on the right. I I think these would work. Now I got the Godspeed and Reverse Flash from Injustice 2 compared to the Flash from Injustice 2. And this little basic Superman from Injustice or Injustice 2. I can't really know which one they're from because I know there's two of them. I haven't really played it, but I know the designs were great. And that Superman looks cool and it's made out of metal, but I don't know if I'll keep it. But anyways... They look really good next to the Flash. Like, I'm so glad I have all three of these from the same game, same design. They look great. They look fantastic. All right, now I got the new Human Torch and Mr. Fantastic, the only other Fantastic Four member I have. And, of course, they look good together. They're supposed to go with each other. I really hope to get the Thing, the Invisible Woman, and the Unflamed Johnny Storm to complete the set. That would be really nice. Here is the Venom next to my Renew Your Vow Spider-Man, my Symbiote Retro Card Spider-Man, and the Miles Morales and Peter Parker from the new PS5 video game. And the size and just the looks compared to all these different Spider-Man in this Venom look phenomenal to me. They look amazing. I really, really, really like it. And I don't think I got Venom's head in the picture but i mean you can definitely tell that he's taller than the spider-man of course but i mean that looks fantastic and like i said before here the wings are really difficult to put on and operate but they are huge and look fantastic on it but like i said like one side looks good the other side looks a little drooped down but that is the venom with the wings and the Noah figure and one more comparison i wanted to do this is the new batmobile Next to the only other bat vehicle, where the only other vehicle that I have, um, this is the bat cycle, I think, from the Flash movie. You know, I bought it thinking I could put any Batman figure on there, but you need that one, or else it'll look all weird. So I need to get that, um, Ben Affleck figure so I can put it up on the display, the display with the bike. But I just wanted to see these two next to each other, and that's kind of cool. All right, and that is it for the video. I am pleased. I love Christmas, you know, and uh, especially this one. This was this was nice to me. I like everything I got. It was great. Thank you to anybody who watched the video at all or stayed to this point to see it or 
anybody who subscribed to me or anybody that watches any videos or likes them, thank you. And a special thank you to my mom and my grandma and my girlfriend for getting me these. I wouldn't really be able to do none of this without them. But, um, yeah. So, if you watch, thank you. If you liked, like it. You know, that'd be cool. Hit that little subscribe button, you know. Saying this, is it always feels weird. Just like, oh, like this, subscribe this. But, like, I would love that. I would appreciate that. And I'd love you forever. It'd be nice. But yeah, um, like I said before, gonna try to get more into this. I really want to. It's just, there's always stuff going on. I'm really busy, but I am just now starting to redo my shelves in my whole room. And then I would like to do some more stop motions and whatnot. And yeah. And also, I lied. It is, um, January 2nd now. So yeah. It's been a whole, what, seven, eight days since Christmas, but that's okay. I'm finally getting done with the video. Well, anyways, anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye now.